part of the video, I'm going to be going through and answering just a few questions that I've gotten regard, regarding postpartum, mom, all of the things like that. I'm just going to answer like four of them. I don't want to take too much of your time, but um, I just wanted to make this a little bit longer and more beneficial for any mom to maybe follow along. So the first question that I got was about finding a schedule or ideas for finding a schedule when postpartum life is straight chaos. Well, I wish I had <laughs> a perfect answer, but it's really just going to come down to communicating your needs and what you need to get done, what you need help with, and asking for help. So something that I completely suck at sometimes, but it's something that is just crucial for getting things done, especially if you're just now like going back to work and trying to figure out a schedule for you, your spouse, baby. It's literally going to be communication. If you have X amount of hours that you need to do work, and you have X amount of hours that you need like your spouse to be gone. You need to find someone to watch baby probably. Or if you guys are like trading off, both working from home, you have to figure out who's going to watch the baby when. And then if, let's say you want to exercise and then you want to leave the house and all of the things. It is absolutely insane. And just the biggest thing, like I said, is asking for help and communicating your needs. What worked well for us is kind of, I remember earlier on when Fallon was first born, Zach would go to the gym super early in the morning and then I would go later on in the day. It didn't make me feel better in a sense that I had a lot of mom guilt that I was still leaving, but the fact that we came to that kind of schedule and conclusion that that's what would work best was helpful and when I did get used to it more, when I did it more often, it just became second nature. And also there's the side of things where you know your baby is not going to be consistently on the same schedule every single day. So no matter what you come up with, if there is a way the where you can always just keep your mindset that you have to be flexible and you have to be okay with being flexible, that will be helpful. But the big thing here is just like I said, communicating your needs to your spouse, asking for help. It will get better, I promise. <laughs> okay, so the second question is going to be very similar in a sense, is how to manage kids, work, being a spouse, all as a mom. And then this particular person said they feel like they're drowning. So first of all, thinking of you, sending you lots of love. Um, 